जय श्री माता जी लेटस ऑल बाउ डाउन टू श्री माता जी रेज अवर मदर कुंडलिनी एंड पुट बंधन श्री गणेश मंत्र Let us now listen to Shri Mataji's speech. You are wasting your attention all the time by trying to save your emotions. There's nothing to be frightened of anyone. Because somebody is going to say something harsh word, that's why you don't want to do something. Such compromising people, so called, have not understood Sahaja Yoga. There is no compromise in Sahaja Yoga at all. It is 
just like a diamond. Diamond will remain a diamond, whatever you do. It's forever and ever. It's like that. So one has to understand that the attention should not be allowed to drift into this kind of an indulgence, which is of a drunkard. That they are the most miserable people, the drunkards are. Just imagine. They will be always crying, weeping, and people would think they are very miserable. So what you have to save at that time is your attention from such indulgence into useless expression of your fear about your emotions. See, now today they sang the song. The song did fill me, completely brought out some of the expressions which would not spontaneously come out at this time. But the greatest thing it has done is to remind me that you are God. You are not to get frustrated, you are to look after all of them and you are powerful. How dare you suspect yourself or feel frustrated? That thing which is so much reflecting, like a mirror, I see my mirror. In the same way, you should also have your emotional understanding. And the emotions should be your mirror, you should see yourself in your emotions, how you behave, how you treat, how you talk. So such people should always keep a mirror and feel elevated. You are a Sahaja Yogi and the mirror in the reflection you should see Me and not yourself. Sometimes I mean I get really, really frustrated with Sahaja Yogis, very much. Then I just stand before the mirror and I say, now, come along. You are the one who has all the powers, who has all the chakras awakened. None of the advents had this. You are the one who has created this world and you are the one who has to save it. So now get up. Not to lose courage. Not to worry. Only in emotional things I sometimes feel that now I'll have to give up some of them completely. They are my children as a mother, not as a guru. For a guru they don't have problem. And then the stirring up comes in within myself that, no, even if I have to give up, doesn't matter, I have to raise. Absolutely. And with that power it works. So the reflection should be of Me, of something that is ideal before you, the one that gives you energy, like this song, and not the reflection of a miserable person, Christ standing before you, as in the Sistine Chapel, and not, not some miserable skeleton, which is even worse than you. So create those images of your mother, which you should see in your emotions, and rise. This is the second type of attention you have to control. The third one is a very horrid, idiotic one. The idiotic one comes from the second type, where the person is emotionally indulging. That is the A of the third. And the B of the third comes from the first type, which is stupid. So we have two types of people, one idiotic and another are stupid. <laughs> but in Indian language there's only one word, especially in Marathi is murkha. They don't, for them both categories are the same, as if the circle meets at the same point.
I mean, English language in some ways is good. At least it differentiates between the murkhas. Like they can be stupid or they can be idiotic, you see. Because of psyche being so confused here that psychologists have brought out, some are schizophrenic, some are idiots, some are stupid, some are donkeys. <laughs> So, this, the third time, is the worst, is most frustrating for me. They'll stick on to me like leeches, they'll be saying stupid things all the time, just can't bear an idiot, isn't it? They can bore a person, I mean all sorts of this put together is called as murkha. So, I don't want to analyze it, it's a bit too much. So, that kind of an attention you have, then you better keep quiet. Don't talk, just listen to others what they talk, what they say. There are some people who will just go on talking, 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 irrelevantly, uselessly wasting their energy. And such people are always friends of the cunning. The cunning and such people go hand in hand, because the cunning, cunning wants to be fool someone and the fool wants to be befooled. Like a king will have a jester. It's like that, you see, these combinations work out. So for such people, the best thing is to keep quiet, preserve all their attention, all their energies just for cleansing. All this idiosity will pass away very soon if you try to preserve yourself. Don't talk, don't say things which are stupid, which are idiot. Just keep quiet and watch others. Sometimes such people can become very great vehicle of God's power, but if they do not take to stupidity and idiosity, This is the type of people, three types I would say, but the fourth type are the people who lead a life of concentration. I mean, a person who is working very hard say, in the office is a very remarkably successful person and is this and that and that and that and that, is also very concentrated. Somebody who works very well anywhere with a concentrated mind is concentrated. A housewife who looks after her husband and children is very concentrated. Uh, and a husband who looks after his family and his things very in a concentrated way, they know how to paint well, they know how to do things and their hands are deft and they know everything. But such people can have a very immobile attention, very immobile, like plastic, or you can call it uh, uh, like rubber. At the most, to improve on it, we can say, like some of the things I've seen which you use, for damp proofing. See? You just apply it after some time, it's just parched into it. They, they just can't get out of it. They just can't. They can't enjoy anything. Unless and until you show them a file, you can't talk to them. You see, if you have to talk to such a person, better take a file before you. And before starting, you put the file. Too. If it is on the file only, they will see. But if you talk, they said, make a file. <laughs> Very parched. And they cannot enjoy life. There's no mobility. They cannot be creative. They can be creative only as far as their style is concerned, but not the creative of the joy. So that kind of concentration is there. Concentrated effort people put in. Like there are people who are fanatics. They are very concentrated in their effort, extremely. That's how all these religions have spread, like Christianity, Islam, Hinduism and all that, because they had a concentrated effort of fanaticism, concentrated effort. If you read the letters of Paul in the Bible, you'll see the concentration of it. You go there and you go there and establish a church and do this and what have you done. And very organized, very systematic, absolutely uh, moving like a belt on a machine and they all the time have that after effects of that movement. 
Charlie Chaplin has shown in his picture, Modern Times. I used to enjoy that very much, that used to tie up a belt, you see, standing for about an hour. And then after some time, when he was released of the job, he used to go on like that. <laughs> that kind of an attention. That is concentrated means stuck onto something. It's not that. It's not penetrating. Because if your attention doesn't become by concentration subtler and subtler, then it is not that, but it is getting stuck. And the stuck attention is of no use for Sahaja Yoga. Such people, I do not know, will never be saved perhaps, so-called successful. They'll go with all their badges, everything, and God will say, go back, gentlemen, you are not yet been passed through the customs. There is another organization which works much faster, much smarter way and a very specially efficient thing. So these people will be just stuck people. Now there are fourth type of people which are concentrated. They are intense, deep, they penetrate because they are living minds. They are not dead, parched minds, they have living mind. They penetrate. I watch sometimes. I ask some people, what do you think of a particular person? Immediately I know what they talk. If they just talk in a mundane way, oh, he's a fine person, he's a bad person, this thing, that thing, then I know what it is, very superficial shell. But a person who sees the possibilities and the potentialities of its awakening and the problems a person is facing, then I know that he is the one who has that concentration into the subject. And the subject of Sahaja Yoga requires the maximum, maximum penetration. Because Sahaja Yoga, if you have understood, I don't know if you have understood or you are aware of it or not, but is learned through experience and through nothing else. You have to experience and then believe into it. It is not that what I told you is a conditioning on your mind, nothing. You experience it yourself and learn. But those who have that penetrating intelligence, who have that penetrating love emotions, and those who have that penetrating movement of their understanding. They are the one who experience, learn, experience, learn, experience, learn. They do not allow their mind to play on them. No, no, no. This mind of mine has got experiences of the past and is based on that. No, I have to take every day a new experience. And that experience must be silenced within me, must be sustained within me must be conditioned with it. Sahaja Yoga experiences are the good conditionings. <coughs> How can it be? I have seen it, I have faced it, I have had it. How can it be? But for that also to have the best experiences, first condition is of Rutambhara pragya, where you should be of that level, that you really get those experiences, otherwise you will be just a mundane type of person all the time. And you may live with Me, but you will not have those experiences, you will not have that blissful feeling, nothing, that joy. So this penetration starts by your meditation and sustenance of the meditation and the dham, samadhi seed sprouting, manifesting the new dimension within you. This sort of an attention one has to develop by watching the attention, jitta As you watch your money, as you watch your road when you drive, as you watch your child when it is growing, as you watch 
the beauty of your wife or the care of your husband. All put together, you watch yourself, your attention. Where is it going? Where is it lagging behind? What is happening to my attention? Such people have no problems. You'd be surprised that such people, when they want to do something, it becomes dynamic. They can work it out. Nobody has any problem. And if there is a problem which you are facing all the time in them, know that there is something wrong with you. Something is wrong with the instrument. If you don't have a tin cutter and you start using a knife to cut a tin, it doesn't work out, then you'll say, the tin is something wrong with the tin or something wrong with you. No, the, it's wrong with the instrument and that instrument has to be correct. When the instrument is all right, after all, with all the powers you have, with all the blessings you have and the source of power behind it, everything should work out. It should work out. You have had experiences of things working out. You have had experiences of many of miracles happening before your eyes. But still the attention has not settled down with those experiences. Still gatanubhavas means the old experiences continue. Old identifications continue still continue with that and the filth of that is still on your being. Change everything, become a fresh new person. You are blooming out as a flower and then as a tree and assume your position. Assume your position as the Sahaja Yogi. So this attention must be brought round. You judge yourself, where is your attention? And what is the point of understanding? What is the measure of understanding? It's very simple. I have to be pleased because I am the attention. If I am pleased, then you have done the job. But I cannot be pleased by mundane things, by any arguments with that, but only by your assent. So you judge yourself on that. Whether you give me a flower or anything, I am only pleased when the essence of that doing has that height, has that special manifestation. You say, I love you very much, Mother. Who I to say? But I must see that love that you are saying or doing has that essence, that gives me joy. It's such a mutual thing between us, you can't imagine. I can't live without you and you can't live without me. It's so mutual. But from one side, it is absolutely hundred percent benevolent, whether I get angry with you, whether I scold you, whether I pamper you, whether I say, don't do that, if I tell you, don't come very close to me, keep away, anything that I do like that is benevolent to you and to me, the benevolence is only one that you should be emancipated, that you should gain something out of Me, that you should prosper out of Me. Like the Mother Earth feels so elated to see her manifestation into these beautiful green trees. It's like that. She is nothing. We stand on her, we walk on her. Where do we see her? But she sees her in those. It's the same sort of a situation. She's the one who changes all the Seasons. Rutambara means the one, uh, the, the attention which changes the season. Rutu means the seasons. So all the seasons are created by her. 
just to please us. But what do we do? To please her. We exhaust her, torture her, take out everything from her, pollute it, do all kinds of nonsensical things. And then she gets angry. The same thing that she is now, in the same love, she becomes angry. And then you have volcanoes and you have earthquakes and all kinds of things happening to you. But of course your mother takes time to get angry. Takes time. That doesn't mean you take time. Look after yourself. It's very important, suddenly you'll find elevated. Some people will just elevate themselves and others will be completely cut out. So be careful, I'm warning. So today is the day, previous day, to this 15th day. And the 14th day, one has to become a killer. Killer of all that is ignorance, of all that is stupid, idiotic, all that is cunning and all that is emotional. Kill that part, become a surgery tomorrow to receive the blessings. May God bless you. Mahamantras
Thank you, Shri Mataji, for all the blessings and love. Let us all bow down to Shri Mataji, raise our Mother Kundalini, and put Pantan. Let us meet again tomorrow morning, same time. Jai Shri Mataji.